What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman here for Stochastic.com. Back again with the NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Friday, May 12th. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. And then the big one, sign up for the lineup generator, and it's not just NBA. You can get the MLB lineup generator for 50% off your first week, less than five bucks. We create thousands of lineups on the back end. We get rid of all the ones that we don't think grayed out all that well. We present the rest to you. Chalky, balanced, contrarian, lock players, swap players, export to CSV. Everything you could possibly want here. If you want to get a little bit better at DFS, this is the way to do it. Now, we round out the bottom of my top 10 with Gary Payton, Gabe Vincent, Mitchell Robinson, Austin Reeves, and LeBron James on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? It's time to find out. First up at number five, I'm going to Anthony Davis. He's power forward center eligible, which is just so helpful. 11,200, projected 58, goals 58, optimal lineup 43% of the time. I went 40 minutes here for AD, 1.45 fantasy points per minute. This scoring system is just perfect for him. 26 points, 16 rebounds, two and a half assists, and four stocks. Four stocks is 12 fantasy points on FanDuel. Imagine if he has an outlier day and goes six or seven, you really start stacking it up. The fact that you can put him at power forward, even better. I'm honestly a little surprised that he doesn't rank higher. In at number four, we've got Andrew Wiggins. Maybe he is questionable for today. Small forward, power forward eligible, 6,800. Projected for 35, the goal is 36. He's in the optimal lineup 43% of the time, just like AD. I got 38 minutes here for Wiggins. Assuming he's in, I think we're getting heavy minutes out of the starters. Uh, Warriors can't afford to drop this one, or they go home permanently. 0.9 fantasy points per minute for Wiggins. About 18 points, seven boards, two and a half assists, two stocks. I thought he looked good in the most recent game. Uh, Lakers had changed up their defensive setup a little bit, and I think that was a benefit for Wiggins. We'll see if that keeps up, but for today, as long as he can make it onto the floor, I like the price and I like the position. At number three, I'm looking at Quentin Grimes, shooting guard, small forward, eligible, 5K, projected for 25, goals 27, optimal lineup 44% of the time. Scares me a little bit about his playing time. Played the entire game, and they won. I assume he's going to get giant playing time again. They've really minimized Josh Hart. So I'm going 40 minutes to Grimes with the expectation that it could be more, but it does scare me because he's Quentin Grimes. Either way. He's like 0.6 fantasy points per minute, 12 points, four and a half boards, three assists, a stock and a half. The price tag is there. The minutes should be there. The position is perfect. You need every one of those minutes, though, for Quentin Grimes. In at number two, I'm going to Clay. I think he'll be popular today. Shooting guard eligible, 6K, projected 32 goals, 32, optimal lineup 48% of the time. We need game six Clay here. He has not been good. Shot just doesn't have legs, he has no rhythm. Today's the day he breaks out. 38 minutes, 0.85 fantasy points per minute, 20 points, five boards, two and a half assists, and a little over a stock. We know what we want here. We want Clay to hit six threes, seven threes, and have that kind of performance. Because if he does, you're absolutely going to need him. This is the game that it normally happens. I don't believe in narratives, but uh, Clay Thompson in at number two. Don't forget to get the lineup generator for 50% off. It says NBA on the screen, and you can get that one, and you should. The MLB lineup generator is out as well. So is PGA. Check them all out. My number one contender for today is Julius Randle. He's power forward only, 7,600, projected for 41. The goal is 40. He's in the optimal lineup 51% of the time. I'm going 38 minutes to Randle. He's a 1.1 fantasy point per minute guy, somewhere in that neighborhood, 1.05 in and around there 22 points and 10 boards so we're talking double double 29 percent usage for randall four and a half assists a stock i just like the price but the position is the big one power forward's tough to fill you gotta have two of them you could use anthony davis at center if you need to so you have a lot of wiggle room 7600 for randall works maybe they play him more probably not but 38 minutes of randall is the best play you'll get today Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Friday, May 12th. Got it. Got it. DraftKings version is around here somewhere. Check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. We're back again Monday morning for another edition of The Contenders.